today's video we're going to be looking at this box of sun bleach just kidding it's the Apple II system saver we review Alright, so today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit easy, a little bit short, uh, kind of a filler video, and I had this thing sitting around, and I was like, I don't really see much information stuff out there, it'll make a good quick video, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, we're not looking at this sun with bleach box, well, technically we are looking at it. Uh, I just put this here because this is actually how I received this. Uh, I picked this up at a swap meet. And it was just in this sun bleach box. Um, so let's get it out of there. Um, uh. Alright, so it's this thing that we're actually looking at here. Alright, so here it is. I know it's not that much. It's not super exciting or anything, but... Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, this is the Kensington Microware System Saver. And what I guess this primarily is, is like a fan for your Apple II. Let's see what it says here. System Saver from Kensington, uh, New York. And then for use with the Apple II. Um, now, I haven't tried to fit this on or anything yet, but I would assume this like slides onto the side of the Apple II. And these fit in the little like slits that are on the side of the machine. And then we have this kind of hefty fan on the side uh, to help cool your Apple II. Um, you know, if you want to spite Steve Jobs or something like that. Um, I, I've never really known the Apple II to have overheating issues. The Apple III, yes. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that's so much of a problem with the Apple II. I've never had an issue with mine overheating. Um, I, I'm also curious because there's not really like the grills on the side of the Apple II don't really go down the whole length of the case. Uh, so I don't I don't know how well this is actually going to cool anything or circulate air because there's not a lot of like sp open space between this fan and the innards of the case which are I, I don't know. I, I don't know how beneficial this thing is. Um, we do have a nice little red power button right there. Uh, one cool thing that this thing does kind of do, it does seem to act as a kind of a power hub, um, which is nice because it has these two cords. Of course, one is uh, the three-prong plug. You would plug this into the wall to power the fan. Um, but it also has this thing, which uh, I guess you would plug into the Apple II. So you can use this as kind of like a, a universal power switch to power your... It will power this and the Apple II. You don't have to take up an extra uh, socket on the wall or your power strip. And there's actually two more on here. So you could maybe plug your monitor in as well and some other device. Um, and then you have a one-switch solution. Um, although, if you that I guess that could be a problem if you don't want the fan running because maybe you, know, you don't want the noise. Uh, but you won't really have much of a choice. You'd have to unplug and plug everything back in. I don't know. Um, so what, I think I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to power it on just to see if it actually is running. And then we'll see if we can, I still have my Apple II set up and uh, we'll see if, <laughs> we'll see how well this thing works. And it's like, would I keep it on an, an Apple II? I don't know. But uh, we're going to find out. So uh, first let's plug this thing in, see if it even works. All right, so we're plugged in. So let's hit the power and see if anything happens. Okay, I see a dim light. It's not very bright. Pretty dim. Okay, I can hear the fan. Okay, yeah, okay, it, ha it is spinning up. It definitely, it's blowing, it's blowing out. So I guess it would pull hot air from inside your Apple II and blow it out the side here. Um... Yeah, I don't know about like decibels or anything. It is definitely audible. It's not too horrible that though. Um, it, it might be a little bit too much for some people, I guess. But it's not. It's not too bad. 
All right, so here we are at the Apple II. So we're going to put on the system saver and see if it saves our system. Um, the system is pretty much the same uh, set up since the last time I did a video on it not too long ago. I did find a Apple II mouse, and yeah, that is a Apple II mouse specifically for the Apple II. Although I believe they were rebadged Mac mouses, the serial ones that that worked with the Apple II. I even had that little Apple mouse pad. It was a random box um, I had. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know the Apple. I actually didn't know the Apple II E or the Apple II at all had a mouse with it. Don't know what programs would use it, but it's there. All right, so let's put on the system saver. So here we are on the side, and see those little vents there? That's where I'm thinking the system saver kind of latches onto, but it's. Like, as you can see, it's going to cover all of this, but that's not a lot of space for, for the airflow to pull the air out. I don't know. Maybe it's more effective than I'm thinking it's going to be, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to be that effective. I, I'm not suggesting this. Theoretically, I suppose you could drill holes in the case or, you know, cut, make a cutout, but I would not want to do that to my Apple II. Uh, so... I'm going to have to move these speakers here. It's not like I'm getting much use out of the uh, mocking board anyways that's installed in there. So uh, let's connect the system saver. All right, so like I said, these little tabs here, I think these kind of fit in to the grills on the case there. Um, you got to put it on this side just because of the orientation. But let me see also... The power plug is right back here, so it would make sense uh, all the way you'd want it on this side. So I do like the generous main power cord on this thing. Uh, you don't have to be right next to an outlet. Let me move the monitor over a little bit. Okay. So let's... Okay, yeah. Yep, there we go. That actually fits rather nicely. Well, maybe that is enough air because it does cover the entire side with the grill. So um, maybe that will kind of. It actually it looks kind of nice. Uh, actually, it blends in uh, very well. So now I'm just going to unplug the power cord and then uh, attach this and then uh, hook the monitor up to this. We'll see if it all works. Okay, so it looks like we're all connected up. Um, so I have the speakers and the monitor uh, hooked up to the system saver, and then I have the system saver cable going into the Apple uh, too. So theoretically, flipping the switch uh, should give power to everything. Yeah, it's not going on. So I'm going to turn on the system saver. Uh, hopefully nothing uh, blows up or anything, but we're living on the wild side here. Okay. And that's on. And let's. There goes the monitor. Okay, so um, yeah, let me maybe turn this light off over here. Uh, so yeah, it seems to be working. Um, it is routing the power through. Uh, doesn't really feel. I mean, like I said, I don't know how hot it gets in there. I mean, it works as a nice little. Uh, power hub I guess it saves you some space on your power strip or outlets at the very least um, it, it looks nice it blends in pretty well um, I'm gonna play I'll play a game and I'll run it for a while and I'll see if I feel like the air coming out is any any hotter all right so I've been running it for a, a little bit at this point and I don't it doesn't really feel that hot although I did uh, try to do some research on the internet apparently these things can get pretty hot especially if you have multiple cards that are close together inside and I actually do have multiple cards in there um, so there can be some overheating issues uh, so that can happen so I guess this would be pretty uh, useful I would think I don't know how good of a job it's doing I can feel like the airflow coming out near the top is pretty good which makes sense because that's where the little slots are but you can feel at the bottom there's kind of a dead spot where you're not really getting any airflow out of it uh, so the case design itself uh, is kind of really restricting the ability of this fan to cool it at least it seems that way but I mean that's that's not a fault of the system saver 
Uh, that's just the case design. Uh, so, again, I don't know how much this is helping with, uh, like, you know, heat dissipation, but it does seem, it, it seems like it would help. Um, it might, it kind of feels like it might have been more helpful on the other side, where it's closer to the card slots, but I think the CPU on this thing is pretty much dead center, so uh, I'm guessing that's the part that really heats up the most, uh, but, you know, I don't, I don't know for sure. Um, would I recommend the Kensington... Uh, system saver. I mean, I guess. Uh, they, they seem cheap enough on eBay. Uh, I'd never heard of them. I, I thought they might have been pretty obscure, but apparently not. You can probably get them in like the 30-ish dollar range on eBay. I picked mine up for what, like a dollar or two um, at a swap meet. Uh, so maybe, maybe works. Maybe, kind of. I don't know. Tell me, tell me your stories in the comment section and what you think. It's actually now that I have it set, it doesn't, it's not that loud. I mean, obviously you can tell because I mean the Apple II doesn't have a built-in fan. Um, so it is louder, but it, it's not terrible. It's no louder than, you know, a fan inside or other, any other uh, retro like PC. So um, you might, if you wanted, if you were industrious and clever, you might be able to even replace that fan with something more modern and uh, quieter, I guess, but I don't know. I don't really know if that's actually necessary. Uh, sorry if you hear the, that high... Well, there might be two sources of high-pitched whining. One, maybe that monitor, and two, my dog is crying because he wants fed. I'm going to feed you in a minute. Let me just finish this. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they're interesting little things. If it's worth your time to, to get one, uh, that's up to you, but um, yeah. So yeah, it was just a nice little quick video. I wanted to show off the system saver. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.